Hello, good uh, afternoon. I don't know. Good evening. Good your time to absolutely everyone in the house, like John Borilla would say. Thank you guys for joining Andy and myself. And this evening, we want you all to join both of us to discuss what we should be doing while we wait. And of course, Andy will always be the one to go first. <laughs> I am the quiet one. I'm oh, the you're quiet the quiet one. one. Okay, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> well, I, I think there's lots of things that we can potentially do while while we're waiting for On Passive to get going. Um, I've mentioned this before. I, I have two Facebook accounts. Um, uh, one I use for for close friends and family type touch, um, and the other one I set up specifically for uh, on passive, but with a view to finding or getting connections with people that aren't part of on passive. What's the point of being connected to people in on passive when when you're looking for a market that it is new people for on passive? So. Um, I sent out hundreds and hundreds of friend requests on a regular basis, having looked into the to the connections and then the links between them. Um, <clears throat> so I think I'm up to five thousand. I think I've got followers on in, on top of that now because you can only have you can only link with five thousand people. Um, so, but I think there's another seven hundred odd followers. So, so that's just one way of doing it, um, setting it up. Now, I to be quite honest with you I haven't posted anything for quite some time but then um, we, we regularly put the um, uh, OP digital blueprint on the Facebook um, as a live anyway now so <clears throat> there are things like that and you can st start by actually um, uh, you know as, as you mentioned before we came on this evening you need to try and brand yourself so by doing that on Facebook um, my, my, I'm not going to use the phrase I usually use um, but um, uh, you, you know start by posting things about on passive get you know I'm really interested in this is this is fantastic this is what we've done so far this is you know ideas for people to have a look at now the algorithm with with um, the likes of Facebook will only give it to 10 to 15 percent of your people anyway um, but once we get going and there's money coming in you can then boost that um, now the other thing is and I believe Ivy in uh, the US did this she set up a club on Facebook and then made a suggestion about being a private club let's go across to Onet so again you can do that set up with um, um, a, a club on social on normal social media platforms um, something that you're interested in get lots and lots of people involved in that and then once we we've, we've got, have this changeover with onet say look we've got this private group now it's in onet why don't try this this is all ideas and ivy's done very well out of it and, and taken i think she said somewhere in the region of a thousand new yeah, she's done a, co a couple, of, a couple of thousands. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. so there's two, there's two ideas. What have you got? Have you got other things that you? Yeah, want to sure. I've tried another way of doing your your thing. You're going to social media thing. Recently, I've just created a new, totally new TikTok uh, page or account where I'm doing something different. I'm not talking about unpassive, and I'm not inviting unpassive people. But then everybody watching here, you, you can follow me on that TikTok. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, you can follow me there because they're good stuff. So I'm doing crochet on that place. So you say crochet bees. I'm doing crochet. I'm showing off my crochet works and people are coming and watching it. If you like to buy something and stuff, I'm just building that platform. And they know that it's for crochet and it's for crochet business or, or, or talking sometimes at say two, three minute motivational stuff if i can motivate someone you know and people are following and growing and growing you know when they start getting used to you and they know that you do interesting stuff that's when i gradually start introducing on passive because they kind of sometimes people want like yes how like people my people they ask you for pictures how much you don't make how much have you made so i'm like we are still in the, in the process and stuff like that 
So while we do here and do on Facebook and other stuff, I'm just having that one. It's growing. Yeah. And I think that that can take to some way to that's just my another new way I thought of it. And I'm going on with that that way. So let's just do, but then about branding too, Andy. I know that we are going to be branded as a company. The company is doing it on our behalf. However, ever, what about your passion? That thing that, you know, you since you were born, it's always chopping you up. You badly want to do that thing. I think the time is now. You start doing it bit by bit and back to social media again. Sign up on social media with that account. Start showing it off, doing whatever you're doing. And wait, while we wait, branding is one of the things. People are planning so much. I'm going to travel. I am going to open some business. I am going to create a or start a, a non-charitable organizations to help people to go here and there. Why not start planning the trips? Why not start setting up and doing the paperwork to register your organizations and stuff like that? Because and the one thing we're trying to forget is life can be boring just sitting like this, you know. It's not because we have 100% time and financial freedom that we think we'll never work again. No, I think we may work even more because I'm sorry, I will not, I will never stop talking. There's, uh, you know, I always want to, to do something. Oh, you were the quiet one. I'm the quiet one. I'm, okay, I'm, all right. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, guys, if you, you know, that, that thing, you, there's something you want to do, that thing that makes you happy, you will still want to do it. With the free time you have, I will run a show. If I'm on a plane and, and my Andy is on the other one and there's something interesting, I'll call him. I'll make a show from his plane and from mine. We'll chat from there. We'll still meet here and, and have a chat because we like talking. Even though one talks more than the other, let's not decide yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, I, I mean, things like with, with the, with the uh, 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 Facebook, you can also set up what they call a fan page, which is more yeah, like your... your, your more like your branding so that could be your your uh, skill or your hobby or your um uh, crochet and i take it with the crochet you've yeah. used noodles you've got a picture of the one with the noodles that you've done with yeah the i know you need, you need to send that to me officially now because i mean i'm yeah. seriously into crochet back now to it absolutely <laughs> Yeah, but there's, there's lots of others. I mean, uh, uh, Facebook is just one, and yeah. you've mentioned TikTok, you've got Instagram, you've got mm -hmm. um, Twitter or X's uh, mm -hmm. uh, as it is now, but you've also got things like LinkedIn. You're right. Um, uh, LinkedIn is very much a business um, database, but mm -hmm. there, it, it, it is, is as big as Facebook is, but True. it's for business. So, again, what, what uh, I tried to do my account was set up some while ago and I've converted that or changed that over as time's gone on because um, I, I no longer work in financial services uh, and I spend more, more of my time doing on passive than I do anything else. So mm -hmm. my, my um, uh, LinkedIn page is to do more with on passive than, than it was before. But, and, and again, what you can do is you can have up to 30,000 uh, contacts so you look for people that you've perhaps worked with in the past or, or um, you know work in a job, in a certain job that might have a LinkedIn account. Mm -hmm. And from there, you start connecting with their contacts. Mm. Um, you know, this is a, a, just another idea. So I haven't done a very good job with that. I think I'm only up to about 5,400 or something. Um, yeah. Uh, but um, again, it's another 5,000 to your or strings to your bow, as it were. But, sure. but it, you know, it's a good start to get a couple of guys from, from on passive because there are plenty. If you look up on passive, you can connect with these to set you up, to start you up. And then mm -hmm. from there, you can start connecting with people that aren't, aren't within on passive. Yeah. So There's good ideas. Um, as I've said before, I'm a list writer. I, I like to write lists. Yeah, I know everyone finds that boring. Uh, it, it's, it's the Capricorn in me. What can I tell you? Um, so, <laughs> um, uh, so it's lists of of, of th things like um, people with, you know, people with kids that you know, uh, mm -hmm. people who've got kids in school or people who've got kids in university, mm -hmm. um, those that work for themselves, those that uh, work for a, for a company, uh, small companies, medium companies, large companies. Um, all of these things, mm -hmm. if you split them into groups, they will each have products that OnPassive has that would be ideal for them. 
So at some point in the future, you can then be able to contact these people and say, I've got something that I really think might be of interest to you. Do you mind if I send you something to have a look at? And it's simply mm -hmm. the, the email, the, the, the video email, if you like, that um, uh, and the link that has that video attached to it that says this is what it does. That's all you need to do. Right. Um, right. Again, it's a list. Yeah, the list. You you can you can never have enough of lists, Andy, because you don't even need to go further. Because even you know, one of the annoying things, which is honest, is that in business, people who promote you or who see your vision and push you up are never your close uh, family members or friends. They are just like my brother's gone crazy, my sister's gone crazy. But then put them on that list because the moment. It happens they are going to like what's happening say it's that same thing i was telling you about you know even if they don't you know you, you need to draw back to them immediately it goes live because you just want to be up there like who said this that it's really boring at the top and you not want to be at the top and look down looking at your brother or your sister down there so the list can be can come from various angles it can just use just from the immediate family from your community and so on. I always like to quote examples from our African communities. Because when we grow up together in, a, in one neighborhood, it becomes a family, whether you like it or not. It's always family. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. everybody takes care of the other. You want to make that list because you can't build a house for your dad and you leave the other dad because they, they don't have money to be in on passing. It doesn't work like that. He must have at least one of the sons that you grew up with together. You say, have this. Make that list. You know, it's, it's just a good thing to do and it's a good exercise. And we should not forget, Andy, what we've got in our hands. Like I will always say, you cannot give what you don't have. Unpassive is just waiting to go viral. You should proudly speak about it like somebody who owns it. So read the blogs. There's so much information out there. There are a few courses because nowadays, whether you like it or not, this is an era of digital uh, it's a digital era there's a lot of information short courses here and there if you invest time and an interest in the unpassive blog you will do your own short courses out there for nothing because there's a lot of information you just read and read and read and read and just feed yourself and feel confident to speak about something that's yours this is our new life anyway we're living it to the kingdom come so it's going on you know, like the other day, I want to digress a bit. Andy, we were talking with Red and Jeffrey about uh, the the uh, homeless veterans and stuff like that. That's how I discovered from Red that there are charitable organizations now in the UK, to be precise, that are taking care of those type of people. And now I'm already thinking, I've been searching around if I find time and I find one in my neighborhood, I will surely walk through just to have a chat with the people who are running it. What are the type of things you do? How do you get to get to know them? How do you get to them? You know, and what do you do to them? Because I'll definitely find a niche because whether you like it or not, empowerment network is a concept. It's something that is going to go on and on and on. They, they, you know, the inspiration just came from unpassive and that's something we want to pass it on. That's how the ripple effect goes. So I just want to walk through the door and know that these people they take care of homeless veterans there are a lot of different type of things they do you you may surely find something else that needs to be done that you are the one to offer that thing and then you join in maybe either volunteer or something or just look and then keep them in your list that when it's time i'm coming back to empower them because they're already in the fields doing that yeah. why not do what we are good at doing which we already know how to do it and you know those are the type of things we should be doing now not sit idle and ask what about what about what we already know about all the abouts? But the the I mean, for for the vast majority that aren't engaged, one of the best things you can simply do while you're waiting is to trawl through the website, go through every single page on the website. There are yeah. 180 or 185 yeah. or different pages. Have a look at what is actually going on. Like you said, mm -hmm. go onto the blog, check out the blog, go back. And, and and check out what's been put in there um you know go on to the on passive youtube channel uh, the mm -hmm. official youtube channel and yes. check out some yes. of the some of the uh, the things uh, on there and and ultimately 
it, you know, if you're already part of uh, of on passive, to get into the OES, the ecosystem, and and again go through every single page, make sure your profile is up to date. You've got a proper profile picture in there. All of these things are important moving forward yes. because it gives the company more information, more data to be able to provide a brand for you in the, in the future. I came across something uh -huh. the other day that I thought was rather interesting. Um, you know when you when you sit at the station and are uh, waiting for a train or a bus and there's the, the it runs across saying this the next train yes. stops that yeah yeah no. okay. well they have these things that you can stick in car windows now and you pre-program them um, uh, so you could put this this pre-program of on passive O connect and mm -hmm. then show the video of uh, and just leave it running in the car. Mm -hmm. have to yeah, I know. Have, exactly. A, a, you know, a, a, one of the QR codes stuck in the window. It, it, exactly. You know, Marty, Marty the Gambo and he's scan me, you know. He just put that and says, scan me or don't scan or some crazy stuff. Because yeah. sometimes people understand the other way around. When you say don't, they, 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 they do. They understand do. So when you say don't scan, they say there's surely something that I want to see what's hiding underneath that. So there's so just so many ways of doing that, Andy, and that that's a bright idea. I never thought of, but yes, it's it's feasible, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, with this new uh, technology to come on board, I, uh, as I see, I saw this thing, and and it's full pictures. So there were emojis on this on this scanner. It was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a very good contribution from Unpassive Henry Horn. Do one good thing, really. like that is a like, a share, or a repost. Just go to the on passive. We're not talking about our videos here. This one is by choice, but then we have official an official YouTube channel. We have an of at least YouTube channel. Go there, like and share and comment on the on passive YouTube channel. Share the short videos, all of the small uh, ads that come out uh, all the time and so on. You like and share them because somebody will just look at that and it looks really enticing and they want to know more. There's so much. And then another way of sharing them is even go to your link, you know, at the promotional video link, Andy. If you just download that from your back office or from your OES and share on social media, people don't know that your link you're sharing. You know, they just watch both an interesting or like nice looking video. And, you know, you don't know who's going to click on it because they just want to see what that thing is that they're talking about. So there's just so much at all to do. Some people actually go like, when you sit here, somebody will go and dig some stuff and that people say, the naysayers out there. They go dig those videos and bring and say, look, this time you're spending to go and watch this thing that's not helping you. It's the same time that if you spend on your own website, you will nourish yourself and be ready for business. So I think uh, that's a way to go. I just want to, that's the last from me now. Uh, perfect I, and i think you we, we you know we've covered a lot in this very short one today um yeah. just some ideas but if anyone else has some ideas please share them with them so that we can yes. share them with everyone else just let us know sure. what you think what you've done um to to while you're waiting what you've done for your business to build your business let us know leave a yes uh, leave that's a true guys just leave preferably leave the comments in our youtube channels go get from there like from anywhere else even though you may see the video shared by someone on whatsapp you have a contribution we prefer you put them in the comment section on <coughs> sorry in one of the three youtube channels that it's running on we'll easily see those and if it, there are proposals we want to come back and discuss them if there are questions or any con form of contribution we'll find them interesting definitely andy and myself and the rest of the team we would be coming back Excellent. thank you andy yeah so thank, thank you guys you. thanks yep. for Thanks for joining yeah, us, sure. guys. Thank you so much and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.